If there's a touch-starved male epidemic why don't men hug and cuddle each other like women do? Both genders have touch-starved people, however men tend to not be as gentle physically with each other platonically. It's very publicly been taboo for men to show signs of femininity or any gayness for a long time and men tend to hold up all of those pent-up emotions and give off a touch-starved vibe. The ironic thing is men, and people as a whole, used to be a lot more naturally affectionate further back in history even in America. That is why it is so hard to determine if historical figures were gay or not simply by observing outwardly signs in their relationships. But I agree that the answer to the question is that modern men are taught not to be affectionate unless they are expressing their sexuality. There's a reason men are touch starved. It's because men are taught by our culture from the time they're boys that touching is inherently sexual and that touching other men is therefore inherently homosexual. Together with the way that the same culture teaches men that being homosexual is bad and wrong, and you've got a culture that teaches men to never touch each other. It's not if you're touch staved, why don't you hug a dude? But you're touch starved because you won't hug a dude. Fear of being seen as gay inhibits many Westerners. Touch between men in other cultures is normal. Though, Italy, Spain, the Philippines, and some cultures of Africa come to mind as places where men are more openly affectionate with each other. A hug is the furthest 90% of straight men will go without feeling gay ASF and they obviously don't want a man's touch lol. A. What are you? Gay? Quote. B. Toughen up and be a man. C. It is what it is. D. Your emotions have been sanded off from all of the above and etc. Pick one. Generations of conditioning men to think they are supposed to tough it all out. Where are all these women who cuddle and hold hands? I've rarely met any and I'm a woman lol. I admit women are more likely than men to hug. But is it really usual to cuddle for long periods on the sofa while watching TV? Or hold hands walking down the street? Unless you're an actual couple. Is this a cultural thing? I'm Irish. For reference. Nice try gay dudes. That's what all those bro hugs are about. And all the handshake rituals. At its core, shaking hands is holding hands. And it's pretty wholesome. As a woman, I do not touch or cuddle my friends but I do consider myself touch starved. I think it has more to do with how you were raised than anything else. Personally touch makes me feel very awkward and vulnerable and I only feel comfortable touching and cuddling romantic partners. I love my friends but it would feel super weird to do that with them. Society's macho BS. I get plenty of touches and affection from my beautiful wife and recently I saw several old friends of 50 years. Oldest Gen Xer. I got, gave some hugs. And admittedly it felt really good to acknowledge our friendships in this way. A handshake bump just wouldn't cut it. And then we drank some excellent, expensive scotch. Even better than the hugs? The thing is even if we started doing it in private, it still wouldn't be socially acceptable for men to do this sort of stuff in public. It's a survivorship bias situation. The men that are comfortable with receiving physical touch from other men are likely not the ones making up the epidemic. I've got some homies that I hug but it's not like we're holding each other through hard times or anything. We just don't have the cry into my arms kind of relationship that a lot of guys are craving when the report being touch starved. Because of social stigma, that behavior is seen as unacceptable. Touch starvation doesn't just refer to people who never get touched at all. It's also a measure of people who aren't being touched as much as they are used to or need to be to counteract the negative outcomes of a lack of touch. A good hug from the homie is nice and all, but it's never going to come close to the feeling of hugging someone who loves you and cares deeply for you and whom you feel the same way back for someone whose touch comes with care desire, 
vulnerability, trust and passion. It's entirely likely that men who report touch starvation actually do touch the boys sometimes. But that's like eating celery when you are craving chicken. At some point men should try normalizing physical affection with their homies. It'll never stop being perceived as gay by society unless straight men start hugging each other. Also of course if people weren't so homophobic it wouldn't be as big of a problem to be perceived as gay. Turk and JD are a great example of a healthy bromance smile. I would say, touch starved, really refers to, touched by women starved, it's just not the same. Because we have been told to simply not touch anyone. Boys inherently rough house but we can't do that anymore. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.